So, hey guys, Pulsemaker here. Let's fix a PS2015 input lag. So, we need some tools for that. Uh, we're going to need fraps to measure the FPS in game. Uh, AMD users can use the Radeon Pro software, uh, but I will be uh, using the NVIDIA inspector because I have an NVIDIA card. So, uh, you'll be seeing the settings for the NVIDIA inspector, but you can, uh, you know, consult other players that have uh, AMD uh, cards in order to set your uh, Radeon card. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to open my NVIDIA inspector now and show you the correct settings to use with PS2015. Uh, all you really want to do is to disable the vSync for starters, open the game and check for yourself that the input lag is indeed gone and you can enjoy PS4 gameplay. Uh, so, what I'm going to do here is uh, actually create a new profile, Pro Evolution Soccer uh, 15, whatever. Okay, and with this button right here, you add PS 2015, and you can then add the settings. Exa, I think it uh, helps. You should. I'm not. I'm not even sure about that. Uh, well, so we're right here. Uh, we have the default settings right in front of us. Uh, the only thing that we really, we really need right now is to force off uh, the vertical sync. Uh, this is the first thing that you guys are going to do and then uh, go and test PS2015 and see that the input lag is indeed gone. Uh, but then, uh, unfortunately enough, you will experience uh, excessive uh, screen tearing and perhaps uh, micro stuttering. So uh, this is not the ideal gameplay, uh, but you do have you you can indeed see that there is no input lag whatsoever. So I'm going to provide you the correct settings for at least my setup, so you can play uh, without the input lag, without screen tearing, and without micro stuttering. So the settings that I have found after excessive testing and uh, a lot of googling is that frame rate limiter should be put over to 58 FPS. It says that it might improve input lag on VSync uh, 60 Hz and it actually does. So my monitor has a 60 Hz refresh rate. Uh, if yours has 60 Hz as well, uh, put the 58 FPS. If you have a monitor that has 55 Hz, uh, you might want to test the, th the 73, 75 FPS. The 73 FPS might improve input lag on VSync uh, 75 Hz. Uh, so I'm going to use the 58 FPS for now. The next setting I'm going to uh, tweak is the maximum pre-rendered frames. Uh, I put this to 1. Uh, AMD users will find this in Radeon Pro as a flip Q size, I think. I think. Uh, so you're going to put that to 0 or 1. You're going to, ch you're going to test these two settings. Um, uh, then enable triple buffering, because why not? Uh, and then there's VSync. So, I told you uh, 30 seconds ago that VSync should be turned off in order to not experience the input lag in PS 2015 PC version. But with the other settings combined, we can actually force on, we can enable the VSync, and uh, you will see in game that there's no input lag, there's no micro stuttering, and there's no uh, monitor tearing. So, you hit apply. And these settings are applied to your Pre-Evolution Soccer EXA. Uh, no problems with Steam whatsoever. And you can now open the game and enjoy uh, the great gameplay experience that you should have enjoyed from the very beginning. Um, let me not forget though, there's actually one more setting that you should change. It's the Power Management Mode. You should put that to uh, Prefer Maximum Performance. Don't be scared of it. What it does, it just uh, makes the card uh, made, makes your VGA work at its default clocks and memory uh, rates. Uh, so you will actually not experience a lot of GPU usage when playing PS 2015. If you have a good card like uh, like mine, the 7060 by Nvidia, uh, it has around 30 35 uh, uh, GPU percentage used when playing PS. If you, leave, if you leave that to adaptive, it might actually hinder uh, the performance because it lowers the clocks of the card and thus uh, uses 80% or 90% of the card, which I'm not sure what is the best because it's an NVIDIA default uh, after all, but uh, I have used 
for uh, maximum performance uh, in Hearthstone, in Pro Evolution Soccer, and has never failed me. It has always uh, provided a very smooth experience all around. So, once again, uh, the good settings. Let me just remind you guys that you have to use those settings with... Um, uh, let me go to my settings exit and uh, open that. You have to use that in full screen mode for now. Uh, why is that? Uh, just click full screen mode, hit OK. Um, in full screen mode, you can measure with fraps the accurate uh, maximum frames that your VGA can provide for PES 2015. Uh, if you use the windowed mode, for some reason it's capped at 60, uh, 60 frames or, uh, or your monitor's refresh rate, I'm not even sure. Uh, which is not good for our testing because uh, we want to test the VSync features our maximum uh, frames per second, all that stuff. So you have to use the full screen mode for now, but uh, after the excessive play testing, I have actually found that those settings are good enough for windowed mode as well, which I was afraid that that wasn't available, that wasn't uh, I wasn't able to use them, but uh, I thought it was a placebo effect first, but no, the, inputs, uh, the input lag is actually gone in windowed mode as well. So, experienced users uh, can use that in widowed mode uh, again. Uh, okay, these are the settings. Uh, just ask away anything you might want in the comments section. Join the uh, discussion in uh, winning 11 uh, alas.gr and evil web forums as well. And uh, I hope that fixed your problem uh, as it has uh, fixed mine as well. So, uh, keep up the good work guys. See you around.